Hi right, guys, uh, Spartan D here. Today, in this video, we'll be talking about vanity pets from Zox vanity chest. Now, um, I got a couple of here examples. These are not your usual ones. You don't get these from uh, the chest of lost adventures. That's because you need to grab these ones. We've touched fragments and you need 10 to get the vanity chest from Zok. So uh, we are at a catacombs right now and we'll be hunting those mobs, named mobs here. Uh, so usually there is one, um, what's it called? A rust monster called Bane Bright, I believe, and or a jelly that appears around this area so you just go down here where that pro guy probably is going okay there's just a mount not an actual jelly this is actually what was it about three hours after reset I don't know what language that is I don't want to know <laughs> um, so that's one here one down there where the guys are um, I might edit this video for when I actually see them so you guys will know that I'm not trolling uh, there should be one here as well um, this one will be I don't know night bane or something white bane he's not here right now never mind and there's two more actually around here um, I was fortunate enough to encounter a beholder just kind of like patrolling this area and as soon as I killed him uh, another named mob ogre I think it's called Xanathar's Fist just popped here like nobody's business so I believe you have to kill one and then the other straight away you don't have to kind of like kill it in front of this thing it just it just appears um, so it's not here right now it's okay um, like I said either I post a picture of said named mobs or a video supplementing on top of this one so for the next map, the slippery slope, uh, it's not called slippery slope, uh, Twisted Caverns, there is a jelly that pops here. If you see like a bunch of spiders here, um, that's a good sign that the jelly is still alive. Then there's a T-Rex right here patrolling this um, particular um, cavern, but it's not here right now. I should be doing this maybe an hour before reset that might yield better results but as I said previously kinda like I'm just showing you the locations if we can see the name piece great but if not I will just post a picture of said mob so that you guys know that I'm not trolling if it doesn't appear um, just kinda like do what I'm doing right now which is kinda like swap instances and swap maps and there's one here uh, that makes uh, jelly t-rex and here three um, so the next one there's speculations um, I believe there are at least four in all maps we just haven't figured out wh where they are right now but that kind of like was out thrown out of the window when there was a fifth named mob in the catacombs so which makes me think that there might actually be in fact five named mobs we just have to know how to find them there's one here there's an ogre that patrols this kind of section uh, down here under the bridge Oh, there is so that's one for today so far <laughs> no. 
and the next one will be something wise it's an owlbear and I'm still getting aggro for some reason he's around here so there's only two that I know of um, on this map unfortunately I don't know where the others are so the owlbear lumined wise right here we go just gonna kill him next so that's two here that I know of which means I don't need to come here anymore uh, you might want to start from the other end here because this is the lesser known of the four I believe that are here okay it's gone I guess that guy killed him or one of these guys there's um, a giant what do you call it giant 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 craftsman thing <laughs> that stands over there but obviously not there then we are going to another beholder over at the shrine here he'll, he'll be inside a room now I guess I can cut off this section but I like to talk while I'm doing this uh, why do this? Well, I don't know. It's kind of like you, you only get one weave fragment per mob per day per toon. Okay, so this is where the beholder would be if he was still alive. Doesn't matter. Next up is the purple worm, which is over at that area where I look um, tagged. So we're just gonna go. We can go this way. I kind of doubt that it'll be there, but like I said, I'm just showing you the locations. You guys can come here and kind of like wait for yourself, because um, the respawn rate is pretty low. I believe it's like 10 to 15 minutes. So this guy's been here for a while, I guess. Um, if he doesn't appear straight away, you just have to give it a minute for him to kind of like pop out from the floor but it looks like yeah oh there he goes there she blows I managed to get him I'm assuming the guy did as well that's fine and the last one would be here so I'm gonna go from the back here because I actually think that's easier if you're going from this path if you port in from the other uh, entrance it was an easy shot straight shot to him um, actually am I doing this right I think so there's a hill that I, you can go up to it's not is it from here it's not straight going up so it might be a bit difficult to get up there probably just go from this angle here and then up here and then up here <laughs> If you're going the opposite way, the other entrance, this would be a lot easier. Okay, come on. Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. Cool. It's this guy. Or Orv Orv Grof the Tainted. It's a bit of toughy, so I'm gonna pop my swarm. There you go. And then Um my wife's calling. I'll let it ring. Um, and Shadow's Hold is two, I believe. There might be. There's actually a jelly here, um, but for some reason, it does not proc a weave touch fragment. I do not know why. I I just think it might be a hint site, um, considering all other jellies produce the weave touch fragment. Um, it seems a bit weird that this particular jelly does not and in fact this one over here um, should be another named uh, boss kind of that gives it off should be but it doesn't here I'm just gonna show you the jelly if it appears if it appears here but the problem is see it's custodian 
But if you kill it, nothing happens. So, don't know what happens there. Um, I feel like that's kind of like an oversight, but never mind. You just need 10 anyway, uh, per day, per tune. To kind of like to get the vanity chest. And then, you know, it's all about luck. Just randomly get um, the pet. So, here's one more. Uh, supposedly it's dead now by the looks of it so we're just gonna move on to the next one this will be the last one um, this one will be an ogre <coughs> also quite common so it might not be there anymore but we'll see and um, yeah, that's about it. After this guy, he's the only, he's the last one known uh, to be in this. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I got, I got uh, distracted. But anyway, the ogre should be there. Um, if it doesn't, what you want to do is just go around looking for all those kind of like name mobs in the other maps until you got ten, or you can even get more extra if you want to. And just rinse and repeat until you got all the, like 15 of them. Okay, it died or despawned, which it wasn't supposed to, as they mentioned in their um, interview or whatever it was. Um, anyway, yeah, so the ogre should be uh, spawning around or patrolling around this area. And that's all of the weave touch fragments um, that we know of currently. So if you guys feel magnanimous and want to help and know of spawns that we don't know, do comment. <laughs> no pressure. You can if you want to or if you don't want to, that's still fine. For me, 10 is enough per day to get the vanity chest and then kind of like... Uh, you know get pets every day. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. Peace